Hello and welcome back. My name is Andrei. And I'm Dominika. And we're back again with another reaction to Evanescence with the song Lithium. All right. Okay. Uh, Evanescence is new on our channel. Yeah. Um, I heard of the band. That's uh, one song I think they've done it was very popular back in the day. I never pay attention to them, really. Uh, and we know it's a rock band from America formed in 1994. And the yeah. song itself is from 2006. All right, and we're doing it thanks to Walt. So thank you so so much for introducing someone new. Thank you um, to our channel. Uh, do you want to say where are from exactly? Little Rock in Arkansas. Yes, and we did. So I'm curious how the Little Rock looks like. It's not really that little, but it's so uh, beautiful. So we did check a Little Rock a little bit. <laughs> That's correct. Ready? Yes. Mm. Wanna let it go I want to say I like her voice. Yeah. This feels so different than everything what we kind of done on the channel. Recently, to be honest. Yeah. This wow, wow. She's definitely got this one of the recognized. Like I said, I know only one song. I don't even uh, remember that mm -hmm. uh, the title. I, I know as well uh, about, but yeah, yeah I just but heard her probably voice like you. is very much recognizable straight away. I feel very familiar. Uh, but the song I never heard. And I do like the lyrics. It seems like she was made for this kind of a little bit dark, deep, and um, even dangerous uh, mm, songs. Because, territory. Yeah, when she's singing about it, she's not ready. Or she does, she's in love with uh, with her sorrow and she wants to stay in that state. Um, it can be a little bit uh, dangerous to, to be stuck for too long um, there. And yeah, start I, to really, really enjoying being in that. She that's feel comfort. comfortable, yeah. yeah. But probably you know what you're scared to to have a different kind of that's correct so you just even if it's not the right one you still want to stuck with that one you don't want to i let think it this go is like a, a battle between a brain and a heart isn't it a little bit your emotions are, like i say you you in that state of, of that of that sadness and that sorrow and it, you're getting so so deep into that that anything from the outside no one can kind of get in and no one can touch it but your brain is telling you mm -hmm. that it's not right, you know, because mm -hmm. you can fall really, really deep and it's going to, the deeper you go, the harder it's going to get to get to get out. And some people create this environment in a different, um, you know, on a different levels for themselves. I did have a friend uh, growing up and she was in a relationship with a boy who's, who was making her really, really miserable and treated her really, really bad. Um, not physical, but emotionally, he was really like putting her down. Obviously, when you when you're young, you you don't know much um, about all of that. But we knew it was wrong, 
and then they were together for years and we we started to be adults at some point and they were still together but the relation everybody knew the relationship was really really bad she was always suffering and uh, surprisingly they're still together and she every time i see her i don't see her very often she looks sadder and sadder and I remember years and years ago, it was myself and the other friend, and we were talking to her. Listen, you know, this is your, you have to change it. You know, you know, it's not good for you. She was saying, "I know, but I don't want to." The state I'm in right now, I, this is my safe place. And it was so sad to listen to her. She was crying, saying that, but she didn't want, to, and she never changed it. They stayed together. He said, for whatever reason, he stayed with her. I don't know why, but they stayed together. And it's really, I don't know. I see her, and she looks really, really sad. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes people really are trapped in a different yeah in the wrong even if it's like mentally even if like you say like your relationship you somehow be... you attach to that feeling mm -hmm. of that sadness so much because this is your and you're thinking what i'm gonna do you know mm -hmm. what, what is on the other side for me i don't know how to function when 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 you know to be happy i think it, it is that's what i mean it's so dangerous to stay in that state to start feeling comfort in that i personally feel a lot of comfort in a dark kind of side of uh but i i never to the point to stay there you know we we'll continue <laughs> you don't say anything are you scared no i'm not scared <laughs> i i just i was listening what you're saying and i take the song like that it's, it's kind of in on the dark Kind of palette is put it on. Yeah. I, I like so much her voice. I think I read this. Uh, Emily, her name is. Emily, yeah. Uh, definitely, and the atmosphere of the song and the instruments and all of this is just really kind of make you so little when you. <laughs> yeah, true that. Ready for some more? Mm -hmm. Wow, exactly you say. You know, I feel some people really believe they they have to go. I I feel it sometimes is a it can be a different path as well. But you you don't see it. You just know that dark one, and you just I don't know why you feel comfortable like that in that kind of situation. Sometimes. I think it's because it's uh, you you were. It's not that you're purposely falling into that state. It's it's not somehow like that. you drag you, in there. Yeah, you sometimes you start to be there at some point, and then you don't know any difference really. Mm. And then one day you then you kind of realize that what's going on. It's like she was saying, mm. I, she doesn't want to stay there. But then on the other hand, she cannot kind of let go. She doesn't want to be in love still in that mm. in that state. She doesn't want to feel that comfort. She needs to let go. She was even how she was saying. But it's the longer the state it takes. I think everybody at mm. some point been in a dark place of their life for a different events. That's and correct. then 
I think we all build differently and we all react or deal with this kind of things in a different way. And some snap out of it before it's too late, but some of us that just falling deeper and deeper. And also it de depends, you know, how long the cause of that you being in that mm -hmm. state uh, lasts, you know, in, in your life. If you never, if you never learn any difference, then it's really hard. It's really hard to understand for someone who never been in mm -hmm. in that. You know how come? I think a lot of people probably can really, really relate yeah, with the song. Sure. That's I I can see it in a, you know I mean because wow, it's it's really beautiful song and so deep lyrics and dark mm -hmm. in a way, but they are true in a way. You know yeah. I mean, does give you so much value to the to the songs to That's everything. True. Wow. It's sad, you know, in the same time. If you think you really, it. yeah, you really feel for those people, and then I think you have to just be there for it's them. Not, it's really hard sometimes when you find comfort in things that are not right, but you just scared to. I, I and so it's, many people, do. you know. But it's yeah, it's not even for me to even say because, like you say, if you didn't be into these kind of things, mm. you you yeah, you don't know what their people heart and what their people mind and all of that. Just try to understand them. I mean, in a way, to support if you can. In a way, you can, because sometimes life is more complicated than just basic. Oh, you can do this and you can do that to escape from where you yeah. are. But it's not work like that, you know. Even if it's work for you and you know you can do some things, there are people who completely powerless in front of this kind of stuff. That's and true. They're just, all doesn't matter. That's correct. You keep trying to explain to someone, this is not good. Is you can do this or you can do. This. They listen and then they still they do what was the same thing, you know, you know what I mean? They don't see that escape in a way mm -hmm. or they don't want to see it or it's, it's just too complicated. The problem, to... I think the main problem is that it it is inside of them. They mm -hmm. dealing with it. They with it 24 hours. Sometimes, you know, we very often uh, think of pat on the back. Yeah, you'll be fine. Don't mm -hmm. worry. I, the, unfortunately, it's not, it doesn't work like that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, the... And the I, person deal with that twenty four seven, and you you go sometimes you go in deeper and deeper, and no one really can understand, or you feel like nobody mm -hmm. can understand you. You feel nobody. yeah, because it's like you say, you go to someone, open your heart, tell what's going on, you'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be fine. Don't worry. Tomorrow no, is gonna be is going. Oh. Oh. A better day is coming. And, yeah, yeah. And you you not even see that light from the tunnel to see that better yeah. day coming, and someone just. You know, and you feel no one really listened to you in that way. Yeah. And... But it's not always that, you know, you cannot blame the person who's... Because if you don't, like I know, you said, you, if you've never you, been in that state, you don't know. You don't know. know, exactly, I know. And it's really hard to put in the words, you know, for, for the person who is in that state, how does she feel? It's a, a, the si significance of that feeling they're having, of mm -hmm. the, you know, how deep they felt. For someone who never been there, it's gonna be like you're gonna be all right, mm -hmm. and they sincerely by saying that they majority like, of people. For me, sometimes I see, just see things in black and white. I mean, you can do it, yes or no. I mean, it's that yeah. easy. And but also, for, in the situation, is different. It's a middle thing, yeah. which probably I don't understand. How come you cannot? I mean, you want to. Not everything is yeah. just black and white. There yeah. are there are palette of colors. Yeah. And, and it, if it but depends who you are, and you know, because mm -hmm. like yeah. You... Very often, this person on the other side, they we don't. Understand understand that uh, you know oh my god what what is the problem you have nothing to be sad about or you have yeah. nothing to, to why are you stressing for yeah, what? why you, you have know? no reason but yeah. how do you know and we very often we dismiss yeah. it so, oh yeah you know you have a good life you have a good job you have we, but it's more than that it, of course it is it's, it's so many that. layers of everybody's life that mm -hmm. We're never going to be able to understand. I think the the key is just to be a little bit careful when you're approaching anybody, you know, and and be come with an open heart. Because sometimes what's work for you is not going to work for someone else, and you you try trying to do good, you make it push it even more in that yeah. darker place and in yeah, that because corner. they might feel a little, yeah. even more misunderstood, mm -hmm. and then they don't want to come up with that from the hole because that's the mm -hmm. that's the comfort. I don't know. We're going a little bit too deep. Um, uh, but well, yes. I feel the song was kind of more even into a stuck into kind of a bad relationship as well. Kind of. It that might be, yeah. Part. It might be. All right. Hope you enjoy our reaction and see you again next time. Have a lovely day and all the best. Take care. Bye bye. Bye for now.